Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to go through my week 28. Um, so today I'm not super excited to have a camera in my face. I'm just very... Uh, my energy level is on zero and I have a headache from hell. I slept so bad this night and even during night I had a headache so it's, oh, it's not my day and that's why I'm just like put my favorite shirt on and have a blanket and a cup of tea here and just like mm. um, but I'm going to go through this week anyway uh, so I still have the ligaments pain in my belly the lower part of the belly um, especially at night when I'm trying to switch side to lay on and also the um, pelvic griddle pain in the front is extreme during night and that's why I've been sleeping so terribly so that is really hard and I noticed that I started to tense up my jaw again and my neck hurts and I started to have more stressed vivid dreams again so yeah the night sleep is not good at all so I always I take a longer nap <laughs> right now uh, during the day to just function but um, I've been happy this week even though I'm tired I'm super excited to meet our baby girl <laughs> and we had our ultrasound this week we um, decided to go and see her in 3d 4d ultrasound and she is growing like <laughs> it's insane when you see how much she's been growing in there when you see her on the screen it's like wow is that the same baby like wow and she's head down now i told Rika the day before we went for the ultrasound that i think she's head down uh, because that's how i feel her movements so i think she is and to get that confirmed that i was right is like <laughs> told you so um so I was thinking that I might insert a picture from the ultrasound here so you can see her little face. Uh, she was not helpful at all. She just wanted to snuggle her small little hands in front of her face all the time and she turned her head uh, <laughs> a lot of times like away from the camera. I have more contractions in the evening it's not like i'm in any way worried about those they feel very normal just the uterus training for giving birth in a few months so i'm super like in the mood of nesting i just want to clean and have it very nice and perfect i I'm so much more like on top of my game with cleaning the apartment than, than what I usually is. So another thing that is new for this week is that my boobs hurt a lot. They are so uncomfortable. They are so sensitive and I want everyone to stay away from me with the arm's length. <laughs> because they are so uncomfortable right now and I see some traces of milk coming in now so that is interesting the raw milk is starting to it's not a lot it's not like I'm leaking or anything like that but I see traces of it so yeah that means my boobs are working right I mentioned last week that my breastfeeding didn't go as well with Alvar and we are going to give bottle and breastfeeding this time. I'm scared 
to breastfeed again because it was so hard and I very de depressed during that time and uh, you get a lot of comments of how good it is to breastfeed and you know stuff like that and that makes you feel like you're a bad mom for not being able to breastfeed like a normal woman and I had a lot of milk and you know everything worked fine except from the pain and that I got so depressed um, during breastfeeding and uh, Alvar had colic as well and uh, so we had a lot of problems with that part so I'm not going to push myself to do that if I don't want to but I'm going to try this time I want to give it a shot because all babies and pregnancies and you know everything is so different from each other so I want to give it a try this time see if it works better so we'll see but yeah I will give her a few weeks on the boob to see if it works this week I haven't bought anything we are closing in on Christmas in two two weeks no one week uh, next Friday today's Friday so next Friday is Christmas and then New Year's Eve so I will not buy anything for now because I really feel like we're going to do that in January like buying the ne next batch with stuff like a crib um, all my apps are starting to point out that it, it's a good time to start um, preparing for the baby you know <laughs> and we we have stuff I mean I have clothes but they are packed in a box uh, that's in Ava's room up on his wardrobe and we we have a stroller but the um, but the <laughs> What do you call it? The, the, I feel like I lose so much words when I'm pregnant, both in Swedish and English. So this is not like I know what it's called, but I just can't. The the lay laying part of the stroller, not the sitting chair thing that Alva has, but the laying thing for the stroller. It's it, it's the, anyway. It's. <laughs> It's still in the basement and we have brought that up and we don't have uh, We didn't bring up we haven't brought up anything like from the basement that we have left from Alvar that wasn't destroyed by the amazing leak um, An update on that. I know that I got a few questions on my Instagram so I might just tell you here as well. We got a new um, locker to put our stuff in so uh, two weeks ago we moved all of our stuff into that locker instead so now they are at least safe from the leak uh, if there would be more damage so my weight this time is 64 kilograms with Alvar I was 62.5 kilograms so but I've gained pretty much the same weight because the difference is two kilograms and I was two kilograms lighter at the start with Alva than what I am now. So it's, it's like there's no difference in weight in that way, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but then with the belly, oh my god. At this point, I'm 95 centimeters around my belly, but with Alvar, are you ready? I was 98 centimeters around my belly with Alvar, so I was I was three centimeters bigger with Alvar than what I am now. So I'm definitely carrying her in a different way. Or if she is smaller than our, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, very interesting to see those being compared. I really thought that I would be bigger this time. Um, because everybody tells you like, oh, your second pregnancy, you're always bigger. What? What are you talking about? 
Anyway, here is the bump. This shirt is making it harder to show you. Okay, like this. See my belly button? <laughs> That is it for this video today and I hope you enjoy this update, at least I do I enjoy my weekly updates <laughs> um, because I know I will look back on them and thank you so much for watching and every single one of you that watches my videos, it means the world to me. I will see you next week. Bye!